Hi, I'm Balawake and I'm back with another tutorial. Since a lot of people requested it, this tutorial will show you how to make your own Paramount 2014 intro. This is the intro used by Paramount since its 100th anniversary a few years ago. You'll need After Effects CS 5.5 on Mirror and Blender, which you can get for free at blender.org. You'll also need to have QuickTime installed and have an IQ over 2. First, go to my website using the link below and download the zip folder containing the template files. Then, extract the files from the folder. Doing this is important or else there might be problems later on. Open the location of the unzipped files. As you can see, a Paramount fund is provided but it does not need to be installed. Blender should find it automatically. Now open the Blender file. Should the font not show up correctly, make sure you open the file from the unzipped folder. You can manually load the font using the button in the Fonts tab. To edit the title, right click to select the text or command click on Mac and enter edit mode by pressing the tab key. You can then change the title to be whatever you want it to be. Exit edit mode by pressing the tab key again. You can change different font settings in the fonts tab on the right, such as character spacing or size. Once you have finished editing, go to frame number 300. This is the first frame for the title. Make sure none of your title is visible to the camera, which is this rectangle here. You can adjust the title's position by pressing the G key and confirming with left click, or resize it with the S key and left click. To save any size or position changes, press the I key and select Lock Scale to insert a location and scale keyframe. When you're satisfied with the animation, go to the Render tab, which is the small camera icon and click Animation. Since this animation has several mirror and scattering effects, it is quite CPU heavy and will take a few hours to render. Wait until the frame count in the top left corner reaches 400 and then proceed. Now open the After Effects file. In After Effects you can edit the subtitle by double clicking on the subtitle layer and changing the text. You can also replace the small smiley face. Finally you will have to render your intro. Select the Paramount 100 composition and then open the composition menu. In After Effects CS6 you can render directly in After Effects by clicking Add to Render Queue. In the newer versions you need to choose Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. The settings are similar for both versions. Open the Format Selection window and select H.264. Make sure you select Audio Output. Then click Render and enjoy your very own Paramount intro. I hope you liked this tutorial, if so click the appropriate button below. If you upload your creation, I'd appreciate the link back. I want to wish you a wonderful summer. Bye.